You haven't talked to this person and they haven't talked to you. High Priestess does not talk. You know, the Virgo, Clarissa explains it all, and then you have the Magician, the Pirates, the Scorpio, the Energy, the Queen of Wands, and everything. Right, Carrie, Pisces, Aries, the Secretary, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy. So, if you are in a relationship and you're a fellow energy, you're being catered to in that relationship, that's you meeting him to see if another. They feel like, the mass energy feel like they're the one in this relationship, it falls all over you. Right? It's very attractive and it's very faithful only to you. Okay? You guys could be buying a home, buying property, buying royalty, you could be decorating a home during this time, you could be doing a party, okay, so we're celebrating something together. So this could be a wedding, you could be planning a wedding, or you could be celebrating an anniversary. Or someone's birthday. Okay, but I see you being very happy in your relationship, and a lot of people, who else have this Virgo have this, um, where people are looking at your relationship like it's a, a good example. Like, they're celebrating you being with this person, your family, and your friends, they're looking like, oh my god, this is like the dream couple, like, you just look so good together. You could be dealing with a Virgo, or you can have a sip on your chart. Okay, the high priestess is, uh, also, a tarot card reader, a psychic, a medium, a seer, you can go into it, you can do it I guess this also symbolizes someone who is on their mission, like they're doing their form of service, like they find emotional fulfillment through work. This is someone who finds fulfillment in looking at the mysteries of the universe. Um, if you're feminine energy, Right? A lot of people are attracted to you. They look at you as sort of like a cheerleader, like you're very positive. That the Queen of Wands never cares that like that. This is somebody who has so much confidence within themselves that they could sell ice to an Eskimo, but they wouldn't do that. Instead, they would, instead of trying to sell fish, they'll teach people how to eat fish. Um, it's also someone who's also very optimistic with the butterfly. You've changed a lot. The hidden energy is that a a lot of people are sexually attracted to you and they love your energy. They love how positive you are during this time of your feminine energy. Now, if you're single and you're a feminine energy, right? A lot of people are interested in you and they feel like they can't have you. And there's an awesome energy that believes you are the one. They believe you're the one, they believe that the one that they're supposed to be with, that they're supposed to marry, they find you to be somebody who has captured their attention and has excited them. Life again. Um, really transform the way they look at life as well. Wow. That's actually quite beautiful. So, if you guys are witches, Queen of Wands is also, I mean, both of these energies, that's a witch. That's somebody who most likely you know, dabbles in the esoteric, the occult, or could be an entrepreneur. Like the person probably owns their own business, Queen of Wands, you know, their own business, very independent. If you're single and you're a feminine energy, you're a single mother. Um, if you're single and you're a feminine energy, many of you have not, um, many of you are not, with the high priestess, like you have not committed to anybody, you're more committed to yourself, to your mission, and you're meeting somebody. Uh -huh. You 
have frequency. The sunflowers at home. So you can be buying a new home. You can be moving. You can sell homes for a living. You can be redecorating. Finding home within yourself as well. Somebody knows how to communicate to you. There's a mask that I do that came over to say to you. He knows what will make you happy. He knows what will make you sad. He knows what will make you upset. But he knows you very well. Okay, romantically speaking, he just knows you very well. I feel like this person is telling their friends about you. You are single. Yeah, the six of wands, Jupiter and Leo, this can also be Pisces or Ephesus energy. The number two could be significant here as well with the High Priestess. Then you also have the Magician, which is the number one. I think that's, this is life changing. This person coming into your life will completely change the way that things are going. But that's also because you have transformed. You have decided to look more within yourself if you're a feminine energy. If it's a little chaotic or problematic, but you're looking at yourself. And that's changed the way to live life. So you have Jupiter and Leo, it's going to be Pisces, so if it's just energy, the number 36, the cross. So you can be religious or spiritual, you can be going to some of this. If you go to a priest, a bishop, a shaman, you can be one. A cross leaves pain, historically sad, a distance too close, and these tidings are bad. Suffering increases when the cross is near, but burdens can lift. Okay. If you're in a relationship, your significant other wants to be seen with you, like in public. Okay, they feel like you are everything and more. They feel like you're a whole package. If you're single, there's a lot of people who want to be seen with you. Like you six of wands, like you're very popular, very well known if you own a business. Your business is the one that people are going to because they feel like it is very successful. Um, and then it beats up the, the competition. Okay. The hidden energy that you don't see is the Nine of Pentacles coffin, Venus and Virgo. So the number eight could be significant, Venus and Leo. Illness is no, sickness is near. Fate it has its own ending to fear. You lose your money, all is hopeless to you, and what is the saddest? Your courage fails to. Uh, the Nine of Pentacles is also symbolizing like um, someone who could be born into wealth, but they own a business that they utilize their talent to make money. You could be becoming single. Um, with the Nine of Pentacles. You could be in a very privileged relationship. Okay? Now, it's saying that you'll be overcoming the number eight. Like, if you're in a relationship, you feel like the relationship is not something that comes around very often. But if you are single, there's going to be someone who comes into your life sort of like an angel that makes this period that you're going through very easy to overcome. And get okay? You're also attracting a lot of attention. You could rap, dance, act, sing, or entertain. You could model. You're famous, though. If you're a feminine energy and you're single, you most likely do not have children. Whoever this is doesn't have children. Okay? If you're in a relationship. I feel like it's a relationship that has a lot of money in it. Okay. You can also be very independent in the relationship or financially stable. You can also go on a vacation with a significant other. You have great and full, the number four. Eric's going to towards Leo could be any sign. You have the number nine, the Moses Kiss. Okay, so you want to do this is Virgo energy, Sagittarius, Pisces, Ophicius energy. Okay. You want, if you are single, you want something that, if romantically speaking, you want a relationship or a connection that is, has like a spiritual connection to it, has a, a depth to it, has meaning to it. There's a masculine energy coming towards you with an offer of love that does want a relationship or a commitment. Someone's also pregnant. Hmm. This is also completion. Roses need water to grow. It's like someone's making an emotional offer directly to you. 
who's their master and only because you learn how to love yourself. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The rose is connected to Leo energy, the heart, and the local astrology, which I do. Something that touches your heart, it warms your heart up, like you trying to warm your heart up. Shows you that he, he wants to be like your husband, or I mean, you could very well be married. It's to be the father of your children. But your husband, or, or masculine energy, that does want to be in a marriage. Who wants to be married? You have the Blu ray. This is all about logic. Evolved web play. So you have heart centered, unconditional love, loyal, organized, and shape shifted. This is unconditional love of self. Okay, even if you're alone, in the process of it, feeling very abundant anyways, okay? Now you have blue ray, which lights the way for star seeds, equals light, cold, and empathetic. Only being able to have empathy for other people because you have to learn how to give it to yourself in the same situations that you're helping other people get through. Number nine is a teacher. Go into a spiritual teacher. Be a spiritual teacher. Mm-hmm. Some of you guys are head of the families. You could be an uncle. You could be like a father, a grandfather. If you're a masculine energy, you're going to be receiving more responsibility in the family or more responsibility in a business if you can own a business. Okay? Blue ray. I feel like you're lighting the way for other people by simply living in your truth. Even if you had to change in the process of that, evolve up to it. You had to evolve, you had to change. Grow. You. And also transmute the energy shape shift. Learn how to adapt. Reptoid. Reptoids are cold. But this is talking about unconditional love, which starts within you. Even in a very cold world, home is within you. Based off of your energy, based off of your frequency. With the high priestess, this also represents. A relationship that's starting off emotional, but never got into something to do with physical reality, or it's starting off physical and became emotional. And the magician is saying, a masculine energy is stepping forward to communicate, to experience, so we thought it through, they communicate. To the high priestess who does not talk, she receives information, even if it's from spirit that's receiving, she's receiving information, so that's the communication. Um, this is also the secret keeper with the high priestess. Okay? With a magician, um, yes, he's starting a new career and having these talents from past jobs and careers to do this particular job. Okay? This has been a reading. Thank you so much for supporting. So, consider this discussion.